A Loris Pilot watch on sale, normally a lot more than 100. This one was only 70. Is it going to be worth 70? It's nice to have some unique individual design. Is this watch any good for that? Stick with me and you'll find out everything you need to know. So stats and specs of this Loris Pilot the RL463AX9 flows off the tongue. What a beautiful name. But <laughs> what have we got? Oh, you're 70 pounds. That's what it cost. It was on sale. I got this from HS Johnson Jewelers online. I thought, well, for 70, I'm interested because it's got an automatic movement. I thought, ah, couldn't find much about the movement until I bought the watch. And I thought, it's got day day. Has it got an NH36? What have we got? No, that's the first thing you need to know. The movement in this is called the 6 y 7 uh, sorry, Y676 which is effectively the 7S26 from Seiko, which I'll show you here. It doesn't say 7S26, it is the Y676C, which is exactly the same as the previously aforementioned Seiko, which effectively is a, quite a, a dinosaur of a movement. No, no hacking, no hand windings, so you go like that, and there's no feel. There's no hacking, so you can't do exact time, which is a shame, because pilot watches, you want hacking, I would say. But this is kind of a pilot dress watch. Come on, guys, that's what the way I'm looking at it. But, ah, so it's got the right sizing for a pilot watch. It's got 42 case size. We've got a reasonable size crown, but I'd expect bigger for a pilot watch, but still acceptable, 6.4 because pilots used to wear big gloves and want to do accurate timekeeping. This is actually something I'll discuss a bit later. There's a massive issue with this crown, which I will discuss a bit later. Lug to lug is very long, actually, 49.5. It's a big beastie of a watch. It's chunky at 12.7. Lug, lugs are nice, only 20, so it's sort of skinny, which is actually in keeping with pilot style watches. They often have a big case and then narrow strap. Lovely big syringe hands. They're very clear and easy to read, and they're white. Seconds hand contrasts beautifully against that stunning blue dial. It's very cleverly designed, very simple, minimalistic, very pilot style, but with a, like this sort of track you get here between nine and 12, that's unique. Bit of a countdown thing going there. I love it. And you've got the minute track on the inside there, on the outside, on the outside there, it's fantastic. Lovely crisp dial layout. It's a huge dial, 36.5. So it's a lovely, big, legible dial. All stainless steel construction. Mostly brushed, but nice polishing on the sides, which is a contrast. But I would have preferred maybe this to be an all sand blasted, bead blasted finish. That would have been really cool. But brushing's lovely. But I would have liked it all to have been brushed personally. But I'll discuss that more later on. But lovely to have an exhibition case back. It's not a dive watch, so it's good to have a bit of exhibition going on there. And it's very brisp and uniform with nice smooth circular brushing on the back. <laughs> Really nice finishing. Even at the full price, it would be impressive. I got this for £70. So I'm looking at this as a same price you'd pay for an homage watch, but you're getting it from a, a reputable brand, Loris, and it's just that unique design. It's not paying homage to anything. It's, it's individual, and it jumped out to me when I was looking for a budget pilot-style watch. This really stood out to me as something that's different. But, ah, it's even got 100 metres water resistance, which is impressive as it's not really meant to get wet. It to be flying around in the air. We've got stamped leather on here with the branding. It says top is genuine leather. Does that mean the bottom isn't? The question I would like answered. But we've got sealed edges and it's okay. It's a bit cheap. Feels a bit plasticky, but I'll try on a few different straps later on just to show how versatile this kind of designer watch is. So that's the stats and the specs really, guys. It's pretty straightforward, but we're going to get down to details now. You're going to find out more about what I like and what I think they can improve about this piece. Would I recommend it? Because at £70, it's going to be something you need to think about. So let's get cracking. So this Laura Pilot Star watch, it's nice when it's in the sort of less than a hundred pound bracket. For a lot of people, that is that is the affordable bracket. I've done enough surveys and questions over time. The maximum a lot of you guys are willing to generally spend, oh Christ, a lot of you are willing to spend is about 300 pounds as a maximum. Some of you may be 500, but it's very rare you spend much more than that. So a lot of people, myself included, the watches I end up keeping, actually in the collection, believe it or not, I, I get through a lot of watches. The ones I end up keeping are the ones that are under 100 pounds because these I can just throw on and enjoy and not worry too much about. And that's the thing about having a affordable watches and this is definitely in that bracket because Loris is an affordable entry-level sort of Seiko brand part of the Epson group you've got Loris, Pulsar, there's Alba, Seiko of course they're all under that same umbrella and I love Loris I've had so much experience with them now with a few of their field watches and I'm, like, they are amazing for their money is their pilot watch going to be as good positives are there you've got an automatic movement although a dinosaur of a movement it works, they're rugged, reliable, and it's nice to have an auto from a big brand, from a re regular online retailer for 70 pounds. 
love the blue dial it's like something you'd get on an oris big crown that lovely shade of powder blue if you will it's it's, it's gorgeous and and the loom is fantastic on this watch for this price good old seiko loris epson group loom especially on the hands it's always good nice to have it on all the numbers as well it really it's good to have something a little bit of an extra bit of pizzazz to the dial i love the the symmetry of the design i know the three o'clock is a bit unusual with the, the black it's good to have black date wheel on here actually but it would have looked good actually as white as well i think because of the all the other text as well on the white second hand and things like that but the black i still think works the fit and finish for this price is great it's, it's not perfect i mean the printing of the text on the dial is a little bit you know untidy around the edges if you know what i mean but that's only looking under macro which obviously i've done for the review and it's a big watch but again as a pilot watch is what you want they are meant to be this size they're bigger but the thing that lets it down as a pilot watch it's got a small very awkward to use crown so you can't do precise time setting because it doesn't have hacking movement so it, and the, the crown honestly is the worst thing to pull out I, I really struggle if you haven't got a nail you just almost can't get it out I'm trying now it's really hard to get out so if you want to if, if the fact that you can't give it a quick hand wind for you to set you'd have to shake it to, to charge it up and then to set the reset the time you've got to fiddle about with the crown again but, and the, the strap quality is okay it's a little bit plasticky you want to check out these straps these are what i've suggested you've got a lovely gray suede which uh, contrasts and works well in this sort of tone range with the blue dial with, on a gray nato as well which again it works better as this style watch i think as well it's the old timer it's a sort of a mustard brown contrast against the blue it's kind of like another earthy tone to complement it so you've got a lot of versatility with this watch if you don't like the standard strap. But the standard strap is good. You've got the rivets on there, which are just for decoration. They're not functional like they used to be. I like the brushing and the polishing. Very well done. It's very neat and tidy. That dial is just so legible and clear. And I love those syringe hands with the loom in them. They just look really good. The lovely, very long second hand reaches right out. It's what you want. You've got the right balance of all the elements on the dial. Maybe apart from that day and date window chopping into the three but that's the only major design thing i'm not quite 100 percent on but everything else is works in beautiful symmetry and i love that nine to twelve o'clock sort of track dotting around that's really smart and it looks just interesting even though it's pointless it just looks good it adds a bit of contemporary twist to the dial so overall would i recommend this watch 100 percent. 70 pounds it's it's it definitely it's really nice to have a unique design pilot style watch japanese company it's going to be reliable and if you ever really want to upgrade it a bit, you can change the strap out. And if you really wanted it to have uh, sapphire instead of the mineral, you could probably change it to a sapphire piece if you can find the right size on, on AliExpress or something. Check out my other reviews I've done where I've changed crystals. You can actually see how easy it is. So happy days. If you've enjoyed this video, all I ask from you is just give it a thumbs up and a like. That's it. And a comment. Let me know what you think. It's been a pleasure sharing this watch with you. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.